and I just wanted to do a quick overview on how a proper pump setup should be done for an AC system on a non-self-priming pump. So here we're going to start looking at the system over here. This is on a, a smaller unit, it's on a 7000 BTU, so it's a 250 gallon pump. And so here we have the half inch intake, or I'm sorry, the half inch intake, half inch ball valve. Here we're going to the strainer. You can see that everything is going uphill. We have the strain, we have the pump connected directly to the strainer. And then so we have the discharge of the pump that is higher than the intake of the pump. If the discharge is lower, uh, I'm leaving the possibility for an air trap, it could be problematic. And if this hose comes up and then comes back down, I have a loop in there, that's another area for an air trap to happen. And the discharge of the pump has to be under the water line. So that we have in this whole system here, and we try to have an uphill rise after the hose. That way, if there's any air that gets into the system, it always has a place to exit. The hose clamps on anything that's pressurized water, we always recommend to go double hose clamps. So you'll see that we have double hose clamps on the out of the pump. We have double hose clamps going into the strainer. And off the ball valve, we also have two more hose clamps. That's going to be the same thing going to the unit, coming off the unit, going to the through hole. Um, the only the only part in the in the AC installation that's going to have single hose clamps is going to be the drain, just because there's no pressurized water. And as far as the intake goes to the vessel, when you're putting the um, the speedboat strainer in place, you have to make sure that the part with the with the openings is facing towards the front of the vessel and also away from any turbulence. Um, if you have any transducers, anything of of the sort that can't be in front of this, otherwise it's going to restrict the water flow getting to the unit. 